Hey, okay, so I want to chat with you guys a little bit about um, fall colors and what, what that means for your makeup and kind of what you want to have in your makeup arsenal for fall. So um, what do you think of when you think of fall? I think a lot of us think of just those autumn leaves um, that are very warm colors. So if you think about the color wheel, um, the so the color wheel is usually kind of based on the primary colors, which is red, yellow, and blue. And the reds that create those warm tones um, is going to be your yellows, your oranges, um, and even and going into your browns and reds. Those are kind of um, what you think of when you think of fall. But I think what's so great is there's also this really rich um, side of having blues and berries that you get to work with as well. Um, so I want to talk to you guys how you can kind of work this all into your makeup routine and um, into your fall wardrobe. So today I actually did uh, this makeup look kind of wooled for you so you could see this color, this is berry. So let's let's start off by talking about berries. So berries as a family are a cool shade. So you know how um, a lot of people, like when they talk about what you're gonna wear um, or what like your foundation color is, they talk to you a lot about being warm versus cool. Um, if you don't know if you're warm or if you're cool, then what you can do is you can actually look at your veins on your arm. Um, and if your veins are blue, then you are cool tone. If your veins are green, then you're warm tone. And if they're kind of like a blue green, then you're neutral. Um, so that's how you can kind of determine if you're warm or if you're cool. Generally speaking, most people are warm and generally speaking, most people that are very fair typically have Happen to be cool toned. Um, if you're darker, you typically end up being warm toned. That's a general term, doesn't necessarily apply to everyone. For me, I am actually more of a neutral tone. So when I look at my veins, they are that blue green color. So warm versus cool, actually, I'm right in the middle. Works either way for me. Um, so today I did my makeup super cool. So I could show you guys kind of like the extremes of things. So the other thing to think about um, when you're thinking about warm and cool colors is jewelry. I actually love wearing a lot of gold jewelry, but I also wear silver and I um, silver is going to be that cool tone and the gold is going to be warm tone. So if you actually think of do you wear gold and silver? That kind of means that you can go back and forth with your cosmetics and your wardrobe as well. Um, I actually was doing some research and it was something that I found out is that warm and cool, um, as far as makeup goes, only applies to your face products. So it's going to be your foundation, um, your concealer, those kinds of things are really important to make sure that you're matching your warm versus cool skin. But as far as lips and eyes go, um, you can just, you can play with both sides of it. So don't be afraid to try something that is warm um, if you're cool toned or um, that's going to be cool if you're warm toned because you can play with it with your eye makeup and um, with your lip color. So um, I wanna start talking about berries. Um, the berry family is super popular for fall and for winter. Um, and we have all these beautiful shades that I pulled out. Um, so the first most common berries um, are sheer berry and Napa. So the difference between these two is you can actually see that the Sherberry has a lot more brown tones to it and then the Napa has a lot more pink tones. Um, although this category is known as being cool because purple is a cool color, those undertones can kind of flip things for you. So this pink add tone that's added to the Napa is going to come across as a lot warmer than the Sherberry. Um, these are two of my most popular berry colors because they're just like a staple. Like if you need a berry, you go, you're going to want one of these in your, um, in your collection because it's just like a really good color berry. It's not too bold, but it's going to give you that berry look. So it's not going to be, this is almost a little bit gothic, this berry color. My husband would hate it. He's actually at a wedding, so it doesn't matter. Um, but, um, 
this is going to be kind of that medium bold. It's going to be a pop of berry without being too overwhelming. Um, and the Sherberry is a little more cool and the Napa is a little bit warm. So even if you're wearing some of those autumn colors, that berry is going to really um, pop and strike out um, against what you're wearing. So the other interesting thing um, that, I, that I've been learning about makeup is that, you know, how we always talk about highlighting and contouring. Um, highlighting is what you're bringing to the surface and contouring is what you're bringing behind. Um, and what you're kind of trying to tuck in. So we always talk about like tucking in those cheekbones. Well, um, with colors, your warm colors are what's going to be super bright and pop. Um, and your cooler colors are going to kind of like tuck back and be, become a little bit more um, subtle. So that's um, a really interesting concept because you can mix those warm and cool colors like when you're doing your lipstick, uh, when you're doing your eye, your eyeshadow and stuff. So um, you can actually, if you put like a warm color right in the middle of your eyelid and cool on the on the outside, it's going to make your eyes your pop a little bit more. And the same thing with your lips. If you put like a little bit of a warm color, like if I were to put like a little bit of Napa right here on my lips, it's gonna make my lips pop more um, and look bigger, okay? Because it's drawing that attention because the, the Napa color is a little warmer than the berry. So for a dramatic look, this Lexi Berry, we'll just talk about this real quick too. This Lexi Berry is still that medium berry color. Um, it's a great one to kind of play with within the family of the Sheer Berry and Napa. So Napa, Sheer Berry, and then Lexi Berry. Lexi Berry also has a lot of those pink tones to it. If you kind of compare it to the Napa, now the Napa actually looks a little bit more red compared to the Lexi Berry. Um, okay, so for that bold berry look, there's a few options. Plum, which I have some coming in the mail. Oh, this is plum, this is my sample. Plum is a really, really rich color. Um, it's, but if you compare it, like this is going, like next to the lips color that I have, this um, berry is a lot darker than the plum. Um, this berry color, if you're compar comparing it to the sheer berry, both are berry colors. The sheer berry is a much sheer berry, where this one is a lot richer. The plum is going to be a similar pop, but it also has um, a little bit more of those pink tones than the berry has in it. A little bit more pink, a little bit more red than the berry, which is a very deep purple color. Um, and this is the berry that I'm wearing. It's really dark and let's compare it to that sheer berry real quick. So you can see the sheer berry on the bottom and the berry color is on top. That's the difference between these. So if you're looking for that bold color, sheer berry, berry, sorry, berry, plum, and mold wine are gonna be much bolder in the berry category. Um, and this is the mold wine. Mold wine also has a lot more red in it um, compared to the berry and the plum. So going back to compare these colors, the mold wine is on the bottom, the berry is in the middle, which now is looking more brown, and then the plum is right here on top. So um, the plum is looking more pink, this one's looking more red, and this one's looking more brown. Isn't that interesting how those kind of work? And all of those are actually warm undertones. So even though the color is cool, it's still gonna bring out that warmth. Now. Last color that I'm talking about in this berry family is this guy, because this is Purple Rain. And if you want a really fun color for fall, this is a fun color year round, but this is a really fun color for fall too, um, because it's going to be that pop. It's going to be not just bold, but vibrant. Um, and it's really fun like with cool makeup or with warm makeup. If you um, are doing your makeup warmer, then it's going to kind of pull the warmth, but if you're doing your makeup cooler, it's going to pull, it's going to pull the coolness out of it. Um, so that's berries. Those are the berries that you kind of want to think about. I think everyone should have a berry in their um, their collection. Everyone needs um, that go-to color that's going to bring the richness, is going to bring the depth, um, especially in the fall season. Let's talk about reds just briefly because reds are kind of that year-round color too. Um, caramel apple is one of 
my most popular colors, and this is a year-round color. Um, but this, as you can see, is a red with a pink undertone. And if you just want a little bit of red, Caramel Apple is going to be your go-to. Now, Fire and Ice is my favorite because it's a little bit richer this Fire Nice is on the bottom, then the Caramel Apple. Um, it has a lot more red pigment to it. Um, so this is Caramel Apple, and then this one is Fire Nice. Um, and it's just that taking that next step towards getting a little bit bolder red lip. So if you want a red lip that has is more pink, it's Caramel Apple, Fire Nice is going to be that transition color to a bold red lip. So a lot of people think that they can't pull off a red lip, First of all, that's not true. And everybody should rock a red lip because it is gorgeous across the board on everyone. Um, and Fire and Ice is that great kind of boost of confidence color before getting to the really, really bold. Um, another great color for fall, which this is a great year round color too, but um, this Roseberry is actually um, a pink red. So it's a little bit darker than the caramel apple. So the caramel apple's on the bottom and then the roseberry is on top, but it also carries more pink in it too. Um, so if you're looking for that pink color to come into the fall, because pink is a really popular color for summer, the roseberry is a great kind of that transition to still maintain the pink in the season. Okay, last two colors for the red category that I'm gonna talk to you guys about is that bold color. Fly Girl, is amazing. Fly Girl is that deep red color that's kind of almost that vintage vibe to it. Um, and this is the best color for that bold red lip. You can do blue red too. Blue red is going to be a lot more vibrant, but when I think of fall, I kind of think of it taking, you know, a little bit more of like depth and deepness to the color where I think Fly Girl is going to really pick up and be that great red lip for you. And then this is like my all time favorite color right now, guys. My favorite color right now is She's Apple. I'm obsessed with this color. I wanna wear it all the time. I wear it probably every week. I've been layering with it and it's not a color I thought I was gonna like. When I first saw it, I was like, ooh, that's like orange. This is actually a red orange. This is on trend with the fashion fall colors that are out right now. This color is going to be similar to that purple rain in the fact that it's going to be your vibrant, bright color for fall. It's going to be that kind of showstopper color. Um, and it, I mean, with browns, with all of those rich autumn colors, She's Apple is just going to pop. And it is stunning. Stunning. I love it. I'm obsessed with She's Apple. So the, the red category typically ends up being that warm category, going back to the color tones that we were talking about. So the berries tend to be cool, the reds are warm, but they also have, um, they pull those different undertones to them. So um, the She's Apple and the Fly Girl are warmer than the Caramel Apple and the Fire Nice have more of the cooler tones to it because these are also pulling more pink. Um, to it, which is kind of cooling down the red in them. Okay. Okay. This is kind of a three part category. We're going to talk about neutrals. So you need a berry, you need a red. Those two things you for sure need. I'm wearing berry right now. I have a question that somebody's asking what I'm wearing. I'm wearing berry. Um, Neutrals, you need a good neutral. Your neutral, um, you can wear every day if you're ready, if you're not ready, if you're doing um, a dark eye, like this look that I have going on right now with this bold lip, completely different if I had a neutral lip. My eyes are gonna be the main attention, they're going to pop, where right now they're kind of balancing each other. This is gonna look a lot more dramatic if I have a neutral lip on. Um, so. The, the neutral colors tend to be warm. They tend to be warm in, as a general category, um, which is perfect for fall. And so if you like those cool tones, like I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about the cool tones before we go into the warm. Um, pink Champagne and Praline Rose. These are two neutral colors that are, um, that are cool. So Pink Champagne's on top and Praline Rose is on the bottom. 
Um, pink champagne is like one of, it's probably my number one starter color. When people start with lip scents, they usually get with pink champagne. It's a just a really good, soft, neutral pink. It ha tends to have a little bit of those brown undertones. Like it's, it's not, I mean, it's not brown, but it just, it's not that super bright pink. It just is a little bit cooler. Obviously it's a cool color. The praline rose is a much more, um, it's a color that has more depth than the pink champagne. It's still neutral. It's going to bring a little bit more pop of color. And you can see that this actually carries some mauve undertones, which is why it is carrying into the cool, um, category. Next, let's talk about neutral colors. So I have neutral skin. Um, like we were talking about, your makeup can be warm or cool, regardless of what category um, your skin it, your skin type is. But what's so great with neutral colors is that they are neither warm or cool. They are going to be neutral. They're going to be in the middle. And um, so they can kind of go with anything that you're wearing. Whatever you're wearing, these are like your go-to colors that you don't have to worry about it matching. It's going to come together um, because... They're warm and cool. So First Love is the first one that I'm going to talk to you guys about. This is kind of that pink, um, soft pink with a little bit more brown. So let's compare it to the Pink Champagne. The Pink Champagne is a little bit softer um, and has more of a, it has a like a shimmer to it where um, the First Love is a matte color. And then all of these are actually matte. Bella is like your step up from First Love. So the top color is Bella, and this is one of the probably top selling colors um, in the entire like Lip Sense collection across the board. Um, Bella is a hot color because it's that medium tone. It's go it's that step up from being super soft and it's not like too, too, too bold in your face. It's a little bit richer than the First Love. And it's also that pink um, color with those brown undertones. And then the last one is hazelnut. And you guys, I'm so, so, so excited because hazelnut just came back. It was announced yesterday that it's coming back to the permanent line. And I love this color. I rocked it all last fall when it came out. So the Bella, let's take the first love out. The hazelnut and Bella are neutral colors too. The Bella and the hazelnut actually are very similar in um, depth and tone. The Bella is bringing out more of the pink where the hazelnut is more just brown. So the hazelnut can be cool and it can be warm depending on what you're wearing. So if you're looking for like a really good um, like brown color that has richness, has depth, isn't too, too brown, hazelnut is amazing. It's, I'm so excited for hazelnut, you guys. Okay, so now let's talk about warm neutrals. So pretty much you need a warm neutral in your life for fall. Um, I'm going to start talking about the lightest and kind of move up to um, as they get more rich and darker. So this is apple cider. So apple cider is a little bit more of that peachy pink versus the first love that carries more of the brown undertones. But both of these are matte and both of them are similar in depth and color. This is going to be warm um, versus the first love is that neutral color. Okay. Um, so if you're looking for a very soft really like neutral lip, apple cider, first love, those are both great options for you. Dawn Rising is more of that really um, soft uh, brown color. It's it's not super brown, like once you put it on because the color is so sheer, um, but it becomes really neutral and it's like a step up. It, well, it's really like a step down from that hazelnut color. The hazelnuts on the bottom, um, they're kind of similar in tone, but the hazelnut is a lot richer when you apply it where the Dawn Rising is much sheerer. My favorite color, my neutral color is Caramel Latte. So this color is a lot richer than the apple cider, which is on the bottom. Um, this is like, it's like a warm orange brown. It doesn't look like super orangey when you put it on. It is such a good neutral color. I love this color. I think this is the color that everyone needs for fall. Like if I had to pick a warm neutral for you, it's going to be Caramel Latte. It just has that great amount of like color without being too neutral and it's not too bold. It's 
for me, that's like the depth that I go for when I'm looking for a neutral lip. It's just still having that pop of color without being too much. Um, one of my favorite limited editions from last year, and I have like three of these left, is Pumpkin Spice. This is a shimmer and it's a coppery color, this coppery brown. Um, this color is also really amazing. Um, it's a little bit softer than the Caramel Latte, um, but this copper, it's kind of that brown copper gold color is just really fun for the holidays. Um, so then we get a, a step up from those softer neutrals. We're getting a little bit bolder. The Plum Pretty is gonna be that metallic color um, that brings a lot of copper to it. If you, the pumpkin spice on the bottom, you can see is pulling more gold now and the Plum Pretty is pulling more copper. Um, but both of these are great metallics. And then if you want something that's carrying more brown, it's Precious Topaz is going to still be that shimmer and carry more brown um, than the Plum Pretty. Okay, and then you want like for that next layer of like adding the richness to your colors, persimmon and cocoa. So if you're looking for that neutral that's going to be super rich, um, these colors you have to try. Persimmon is not quite as bold as cocoa. I actually wore cocoa the other day and cocoa is the color of cocoa. It's like a really pretty brown color. It's so pretty. Um, persimmon is this orange brown color with a little bit of red in it. Persimmon is one of my favorite colors. I feel like it's one of the most underrated colors, um, but it has so, it's so rich. And this is like, when you think of autumn colors, you're gonna think of persimmon. Um, it's probably between these two. Like if you needed two colors for fall, caramel latte is gonna be your neutral color and then persimmon is gonna be um, the one that's a little bit richer. Like these are the two that I would choose for you if I was choosing because I love these ones so much. Okay, so that's pretty much lip sense. There's a couple more things that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, so Halloween, Blackberry, this one just came back. This is pretty much um, a black lip sense with some berry undertones to it. For Halloween, Coralina is also a great matchup to the Blackberry color. Um, another color that was just released is Honey Rose. This is coming back into the permanent line. It's been, it was discontinued earlier this year. And I'll show you guys what this color looks like. Honey Rose is a um, softer version of Plum Pretty. It, um, let me get a good swatch on my hand so you guys can see the color come through. You guys see that? That's Honey Rose, it's really pretty. Um, it came back from pop by popular demand. They actually asked um, a few of us, so this is Plum Pretty on top and Honey Rose is on the bottom. Honey Rose is pulling a little bit more um, red to it than the Plum Pretty, but both of them are metallics. Um, the Honey Rose is softer than the Plum Pretty, you can see. Um, but this color came back by popular demand, so they actually asked um, some of us to take a survey and choose like our top 15 colors we wanted to come back um, as into the permanent line. And um, that is what won, one of the colors that won. So luckily we should be seeing more colors come back over um, the next few months. Okay, so this is Blackberry um, right next to it. So it is pretty much a black lip scent. Like I said, this color is so fun um, and versatile. It's a great color to layer with if you wanna add richness and darkness um, to any of these colors. This color is going to bring that level down. So imagine Blackberry la layered with berry. It is going to just make this color um, that much richer and that much darker. So if that's a look you're going for, Blackberry is amazing to layer with. But this is also a great color if you're doing any face makeup. Um, because Lip Sense is smudge proof, kiss proof, waterproof, um, you can you can use it to do like um, you know designs on your face. Which I did like a cheetah look last winter, last fall for Halloween, and I used this all over my face for the spots, and then I don't have to worry like it lasted all day, and I don't have to worry about it smudging or anything like that. And you can even use it for eyeliner too. So, 
Those are the Lip Sense Fall Colors. The last thing I wanna to talk to you guys about before I let you go um, is Shadow Sense because to balance out, you know, the fall colors on top, I wanna to talk to you guys about some of the um, fun colors that I think are must-haves for fall um, with shadow. I'm gonna, I think we can swatch this on my arm so you can see. So this is a really, oh, I should have brought it over more. Fun color. This is bronze shimmer. Um, the thing with the shadows is you can see how much color that has. When you blend this out, it doesn't stick with that same depth. Does that make sense? So it can be this deep. It totally depends on how much product you're using. Um, but this is a great metallic color that has um, it's bronze. It's a bronze shimmer um, that's going to be great for um, fall, especially, let's put this one next to it, Copper Rose. How fun and pretty are these two together? Copper Rose is, um, is the copper shimmer color. How pretty are those? So those are great colors for fall. And then my another one of my favorites... Um, is smoke topaz. So the bronze is is has more brown and gold in it. The smoke topaz actually comes in a matte or in a shimmer, and this is the shimmer one that I'm putting on. Um, the sm the smoke topaz has more green in it. So all three of those are really really pretty together and are perfect for fall. Um, one of my most popular colors, I use this for my contour, I use it for my brows, I use it all the time, is the Garnet color. That's going to be really pretty to blend all of those together. And then um, for to add a little bit of brightness, I think the Pink Posy is gonna be really pretty with these fall shadow colors. So the pink, the pink posy is just a little bit richer um, and it almost carries a little bit more orange than the mulberry, which I'll put next to it so you guys can see. Mulberry is more of that, is a rosier pink and the pink posy on top is is a lot bolder and both of these are actually really pretty as blush too and then the other colors that of course you're going to need is which these are your neutral colors that you need year-round is the mocha java shimmer which is going to be um, that's really good um, medium color when you're working with these so this is going to be your lid and these can be your crease um, this Mocha Java comes in a matte and a shimmer. So I'm kind of applying the shimmers just because I think that they're so fun. I love shimmers. Um, this one is actually a matte and it's the color that I'm wearing today, which if you're doing that cooler makeup, it's, um, this color is called Granite. Aren't those so pretty? But isn't that like such a pretty palette for fall? Um, Amethyst is what, the last color shadow I want to talk to you guys about is amethyst. This color actually just came back in stock too um, and is a really fun color to kind of play with. And it's this purple color and this can be used. Um, what's cool about it is that it can be used as like your soft lid color or it can be used as your crease. So depending on how much product you're using, you can make this as rich or as light as you want. So those are kind of my top Shadow Sense colors. Um, as you can see, the, how, how I've been blending these with my finger, um, they blend out super easy. And then once they dry, which it takes a few seconds um, or a few minutes for them to dry, then they are smudge proof, crease proof and water um, resistant. So your eye makeup will last all day. And then they are multifunctioning. So um, like I said, the pink posy and the mocha jaw, or the pink posy and the mulberry are great for blush. You can use the garnet for um, your eyebrows. If you have darker hair like I do, the, the mocha java is also a great brow filler if you have fair skin. This one's the shimmer, so you'd want the matte for that. 
Um, and then you can use any of them as liner if you wanted. You can even use them as lip colors. So you can actually sandwich the lip scents um, over, so your first layer and your uh, your top layer are lip scents. You can put a shadow scents color in between um, to add fun metallics or just different shades to your lips. So that's what's going on. I hope you guys kind of had fun going through those colors. I actually had several, a few people request that I go over um, some of these colors and what to wear for fall. So if you guys do ever have um, any requests or things you want me to do videos on, just let me know because I am more than happy to do it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.